Time now to assess all the damage here in Western Mass after that powerful storm ripped through our area. We've been tracking the damage all night for you, and we have team coverage. That's right. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is in Springfield with the very latest. Lindsay? and knocked out people's electricity across Western Mass. Now here in Springfield, just moments ago, this road was completely out of power and the lights literally just came back on. People we spoke to earlier said it was terrifying watching all of this unfold. We started running because that tree fell down and the other one too, so we were scared. A powerful storm barreled through Western Mass, knocking down trees, power lines, and bringing damage to homes in the area. At Dot Park in Chicopee, a family ran for their lives as they watched this gigantic tree smack to the ground. I was just scared. I said, my God, because everything the weather was good and it's only was like, you know, I was very scared. Over in the city of Springfield, Mayor Dominic Sarno says the city got hit hard. Dozens and dozens of trees are down, some on major arteries, Parker Street, Allen Street. In 16 acres, one resident tells Western Mass News that watching the storm rip apart his neighborhood was terrifying. Our yard got everything damaged and knocked down. And in Westfield, a tree toppling over and landing right on top of a shed, crushing the roof and walls. It just started coming, rain started pouring, and I was looking outside my window because we have a tree out there, and it was moving, and I kind of got, like, scared a little bit. And some say this storm is a reminder to do what you can to keep your property safe. It's also, I think, a good warning to people to always make sure anything major, tree-wise, is away from their homes. According to Eversource and National Grid, there are still thousands of customers across the area without power. Be sure to stick with Western Mass News on air and online for the latest information. For now, in Springfield, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.